as Andrew was reading the story just now, when it came to the last line about the wise men going home by another route because of Herod, I heard someone behind me, I think it was Margie Coates saying, smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's Epiphany. And January 6th is actually the date of the Feast of Epiphany. Epiphany means the coming of the light, the full and glorious manifestation of the light in our lives. And on this January 6th, this Feast of Epiphany, I want to invite all of you to rise and greet each other with the gift of this day, which is that the light is come to all of us. So will you just take a moment and greet each other with that light of Christ. <laughs> American poet, actually she died a couple of years ago, but she is a, a remarkable uh, womanist poet and uh, before her time and a feminist and most of her poetry comes out of this remarkable sense of the divine uh, dwelling in the midst of the mundane and the ordinary. She has a fabulous book I want to recommend to those of you who love poetry called uh, The Book of Light. And she begins this book by describing what light is, and she takes it from the the the, thora, the, the, the thesaurus. There we go. And so I want to just read for you this morning the, the description of light, what light is in our lives, and uh, the beautiful words that we attribute to this gift of light. Ray, stream, gleam, beam, sun, glow. Flicker, shine, lucid, spark, scintilla, flash, blaze, flame, fire, serene, luciferous, lightning, luster, shimmer, glisten, gloss, brightness, brilliance, splendor, sheen, dazzle, sparkle, luminous, reflection, kindle, another, another kind of kindle, <laughs> Illuminate, brighten, glorious, radiate, radiant, splendid, clarify, clear. When you use these words, when you speak these sentences, remember that you are describing in your life light. Well, we've just heard the story of Epiphany, the coming of the fullness of light into a dark world. We wonder at the brightness and the brilliance of that beautiful star so compellingly powerful as to seduce a whole caravan of truth seekers to follow it through into that cold night in Bethlehem. They could have brought him something different, perhaps some fresh baby clothes, a snuggie or two, a baby mattress would have been helpful, and flannel sheets would have been, I dare say, divine. <coughs> Maybe a year's supply of pampers for the parents and a teething ring. But instead, the wise people bring him impractical gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Not very exciting to a hungry baby out there crying in the darkness. But there are more important gifts that need to be lifted up in this story. More deeply and importantly, the wise ones brought spiritual gifts to the manger. First, a sense of wonder and awe. D.H. Lawrence has described wonder as the most precious
precious element of the spiritual journey. He named the gift of wonder in our lives the sixth sense. Wonder. Now, I've been working with Rachel Bauman for six months, and Rachel has a pretty consistent response to most things. I don't know if you've noticed. Rachel's favorite word is awesome. awesome. <laughs> exactly. Great, everybody knows it. That's what wonder brings to us, Rachel. The ability to be caught up in the beauty, the power, and the strange grace that is life. Wonder is the ability to see what is awesome, even in the most ordinary things. You have the gift. Paul Tillich tells the story of a little boy riding in a car with his father. The boy sees a cow and asks his father, what's that? The dad replies, it's a cow. Cow, says the little boy. What is a cow? Why can't I be a cow? A sense of wonder. <coughs> I remember when my nephew Nathan was two years old and he was riding in the back of our car and the windows were down. It was in the middle of summer. And he had his arm just like that on the window. And we were driving fast and all of a sudden he said to his mother, Mommy, Mommy, my arm is blue. A sense of wonder. <laughs> wonder includes also this feeling about gratitude thankfulness, because we can be swept away, swept away in wonder and open to ourselves in new ways if we possess it. <coughs> the gift of life, the wonder of being alive. Thanksgiving emerges from our sense of wonder and gratitude, and that thanksgiving can move us into rejoicing and celebrating. I'm imagining that that's how the wise ones came to the light, that they weren't sober and silent, thrilled, perhaps, to be there, thrilled, perhaps, to come to that place in the midst of their journey, deeply grateful for the pathway to light. They had pursued it over great distance and many struggles. They didn't know where they were being led, but they knew what they had to follow. Scripture says that the star filled their hearts, I love the phrase, with indescribable joy. They arrived at the star with indescribable joy. As with gladness, those of old <coughs> arrived at the place of radiance and powerful <coughs> clarity. This story is like our story. We are drawn to the divine. We travel, some of us, mostly at night, not completely aware or sure of the direction or what God is asking for us on the journey. The desire for light continues to beckon us onward. We may get lost. We may take detours because of dangers along the way, along the journey. There will be those on the way who threaten to pull us off course or who have other plans going on. But some others have seen the light and they welcome us along the way. To get where we are going, to get where we are going in this life, we need gifts of wonder, trust, and wisdom. Arrival, when we get there, wherever there is, may be fleeting and only for a moment, but being there, recognizing the light, and being able to rejoice is worth the price of the ticket, and then we go on with hope in our hearts, and if we need to be creative, in that moment we go home by another way. No matter how fleeting our stay, our hearts are filled with joy and delight. It is enough, it is enough to continue our journey with hope, seeking by the light of the star to catch just perhaps a glimpse of the beloved along the way. One of the deepest and most indescribable joys of my life, besides for the love of my husband Sam, 
is the exquisite privilege I know of being on this journey toward light with all of us in caring and Christian community. We are honored, we are privileged to be companions with each other, traveling on the road, following the light, seeking wisdom and wonder in and with each other, and being sure to express our gratitude to each other and to God along the way. May the coming year offer to us times of awesome wonder, opportunities to pursue the light, to catch a glimpse of the beloved along the way. And may God fill our hearts with indescribable joy on the journey. Amen. And will you pray quietly with me a simple prayer? To the light, open my being to the radiance of your presence, to the guidance of your companionship, to the compassion of your indwelling, 